Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sterling and I'm the artist behind Cactus Lady Creation, where I share fiber art, tutorials, and thrift with me videos. I'm back with another crochet patterns video and hopefully to serve as some inspiration for your next project. Well, well and truly into crafting season right now and with the holidays and Christmas just right around the corner, I thought it was a perfect time to share 50 free gift patterns that you can make this season as well as really any time of the year. And all of these patterns are a bit more on the quicker side to whip up because unless you've already started on that sweater that's gonna take 40 something hours of sweat, tears, and love, it's probably not gonna happen unless you're hoping to gift it for next year. Oh, so man. all of these will be on the quicker side to make. And I'll be breaking all of these patterns up into four different categories, home decor, trinkets like water bottles and plant hangers, Christmas specific decor, and accessories that are a bit more on the smaller side or quicker to work up. And I'll also have timestamps for all of these sections as well as links to all of these patterns on my blog and the link for that is in the description box below. First, let's get started with some home decor. First is the Huga Burst Granny Square Pillow by Not A Crawl Crochet. The finished pillow is 18 by 18 inches and uses 16 squares that are all then connected together using the continuous join as you go method to create one panel. And then this is really cleverly constructed because then it's just folded into a diamond shape and connected all together using the zigzag stitch. Next is the Flower Power Pillow by Pixie Creates. This one is made in the round and is 14 inches in diameter and the yarn that was used to create it has been discontinued, but there are a lot of helpful tips on other alternatives of yarns to use. I love cacti, so I love this next one. It's the Cactus Pillow by A Crafty Concept. The dimensions for this are 14 by 14 inches, and I really love the way that they use the bobble stitch on this one. And this would be a great one to actually stuff the pillow with little yarn scraps. So it's also a little eco-friendly project and you can use up all those yarn scraps. Then we have the Forget Me Not Coaster by Desert Bloom Craft. This is four and a quarter inches in diameter and I love how this one has a bit of a wintry vibe to it. You could certainly whip these up in a crafting session or two. You could also make the Spiked Boxes Coaster by Hooks Books Wonderless. This one is five and a half inches by four and three quarters inches and I really like how this one works up pretty quickly and has that really satisfying herringbone like stitch and to create that herringbone like design they use a half double crochet two together to do this there's also this pretty and pink rug by yarn inspirations the rug measures 30 inches and works up pretty quickly it uses a 16 millimeter crochet hook to make and this would definitely make a great statement piece and be a nice gift for that friend whose home is their haven. Or you could make the Comforting Rug by Yarn Inspirations. This rug is 40 inches in diameter and works up quickly because it uses jumbo yarn. And I love the lace work on this one and how they use the Pico and treble crochet cluster stitches. As a crafter and collector, I really like this next one. It's the Mini Nesting Baskets by Yarn and Chai. I really like that this pattern includes three different sizes. It includes a three inch, four and a half inch, and seven inch width basket. And these would be really fun to make up with scrap yarns. I also really liked how this pattern added a little spin to baskets by using the mini bean stitch, which they have a full tutorial for. And it also includes a really great tip, which is one of my favorite ways to make a crochet basket, which is by adding a plastic canvas to the sides. To make it eco-friendly, you could also experiment with using some cardboard leftover boxes and cut them in the shape that you'd like and that could also be used to reinforce the sides of the baskets as well. You could also make a jar cozy like this one by Dinner Maid. These are really cute to add a little bit of coziness to a candle or a little potted plant. The pattern is four inches in diameter, so it's really quick to whip up. You could also find a really nice local candle or plant shop and put the cozy on that item 
and that'd make a really nice gift for a friend. Next is the Spring Ridge Placemat by Lulo Stitch Co. These are really fun and easy to make and they use the pop stitch and the moss stitch and measure 18 by 12 inches. These would be really perfect for that friend who loves to host parties for sure. This next one is the perfect gift for the person who likes practical gifts. It's the Pot Holder by Sarah Maker. And this one's great because it whips up really quickly and only uses one ball of the Lily Sugar and Cream or about 100 yards of any Category 4 yarn. So that's pretty nice. Another practical gift idea is the Basic Keyhole Kitchen Towel by A Crocheted Simplicity. And if you want a really quick and practical gift, this is also a really good go-to. It's nine inches in width by 29 inches in length and it only uses the single and double crochet stitches, so it's really beginner friendly. You could also make the Little Washies by Brenda KB Anderson Designs. This one's really helpful for the young parent friends who might have a new baby, but they also like to be eco-friendly. I'm definitely not a parent yet and won't be anytime soon, but I have a lot of friends who like practical gifts and are new parents, so this could be a really nice gift for them. Or it'd be nice for that friend who just moved. It'd be a nice housewarming gift. And this one uses the moss stitch and also includes a pattern for the washcloths as well as the nice basket that it's in. Or you could make this Tea Cozy by Edie Ekman. If you are making a gift for a tea or coffee lover, this could be a really good one. It measures 20 inches circumference and will stretch as well. And this one would make a really nice housewarming gift as well. You could also make this plant hanging by Bindi Carter. This is a great gift for the plant lover, and this pattern includes three different sizes, one that fits a three inch, four inch, and six and a half inch pot. And it uses lily, sugar, and cream yarn, and the first two sizes only use one skein. So this one would be a really great quick one to whip up, and you can make a few different hangers of different lengths and sizes so that they can be displayed and staggered, which would look really nice. You could also make a soap scrubby by Underground Carter. This project would also go really well with some local soaps to make a nice little gift pack. The total size is six inches wide by four inches. And you definitely need to be a bit more familiar with the back post and front post double crochet for this one. So because of that, I'd say it's a bit more intermediate or advanced beginner. You could also make the Mary Placemat by Zoe Curtis Modern Crochet. These placemats are so cute and would be perfect for that friend who likes 60s inspired design as it is inspired by the designer Mary Kwan. The pattern makes a placemat that's about 10 and a half inches in circumference and it says it's intermediate because it uses the tapestry method. And the tapestry method is basically where you hold one yarn behind the other while you work in order to switch between different colors. And so as long as you know that method, you'll definitely be able to work this one up pretty quickly and have a really lovely aesthetic project. Lastly, for home decor, you could make the Fruity Coaster by Super Cute Design. This one is super fun and actually has four different patterns for a watermelon, lime, blood orange, and lemon. And this one is definitely beginner friendly as it only uses the single crochet increase and decrease stitches. And next, I'll share some trinkets that are generally smaller and quick and simple to make. First, you could make this cactus pin cushion by Whistle and Ivy. This is really quick to whip up and would be nice for a crafty friend. You could stuff it with little scrap yarns and I really like the idea on this one with gluing it to the top of an otherwise boring jar. You could use it to dress up just a boring old mason jar and you could even put little trinkets inside of the mason jar like crochet hooks or buttons or any kind of crafty things like that. You could also make this bottle holder by Teen Sommer Hansen. This is a really practical gift and only uses one skein of yarn. It stretches out to be anywhere from 1.9 to 2.3 inches to fit a nice water bottle. And this would be a great gift for the friend that's always on a go and likes to travel or go hiking. Or if you're looking for the perfect gift for a fellow crochet or knitting lover, this hook holder by Nicole Riley would be great. This one is a really practical gift for any crafter who likes to stay organized and would be super helpful for the traveling crocheter or knitter. I love how customizable all the pockets are as well, and it is made to be 10.75 by 15 inches when open, or it's about 10.75 by eight inches when folded closed, and it folds just nicely like a little book. 
Next are these Tutti Frutti keychains by Rafa Musa Designs. These are really quick to make for sure, and I like how they include four different fruits. They have a pattern for a watermelon, lime, orange, and a lemon. These are super cute and super beginner friendly as well. This next one is really nice. It's the laptop case by My Crochet Case. This pattern is made to fit a 14 inch MacBook Pro, but there are also some tips on how to adjust this to fit the specific laptop size. So of course you need to know what size of laptop you're making it for, but I think that this makes a really lovely practical gift and is really cute and quick to make. And I thought it was interesting how this pattern uses the half double crochet stitch, but you yarn under instead of over. So I think this pattern could be really interesting to make. Or the mushroom jewelry holder by Zero Crafts would be nice to make. This is also in that amigurumi style and you can stuff it with any yarn scraps that you have and make use of them for sure. And this one would be really nice for any of your friends who like that kind of cottage core style. I also really like these face scrubbies by Rito Hobby. This one would be nice to make as a little pack of scrubbies and then maybe tie them together with a nice neat little bow and put them in a cute little bag. And this would be a really nice gift for the makeup lover in your life who likes to be a bit more sustainable. The Can Cozy by Sarah Maker is also a really nice gift. I think this one would be another perfect one for the party thrower or to give away at a party that you're hosting. These would look really cute on everyone's drinks and they'd also be a great way to tell everybody's drinks apart from each other. So that's really helpful. I really like this yoga mat bag by Heart Hook Home. This would be really nice for that yoga lover in your life and this pattern fits the standard yoga mat that's 14 inches in circumference and 25 inches long. I think this would be really nice to kind of customize it and add some beads as you like as well. Roses don't last forever, but this rose bouquet by Li Ji Handmade will. This one is so creative and it's a flower rose bouquet. I think this one would be perfect to pair with a nice little vase or you could wrap it up in some fun paper like a store-bought bouquet. And this one might take a little bit longer to make because the yarns are a bit finer, but it'd definitely be really fun customizing this one. You could also add any little beads or pearls as you like as well. And lastly for trinkets is the Monstera plant by Leslie Tanail. Here's a fun one for all the plant lovers. This one's relatively smaller, so it'd be pretty quick to whip up. And this could be cute to add in a rear view mirror in a car, or you could hang it in a dorm or anywhere that you'd like a little bit of charm. Now I'll share some patterns that are perfect for the dog or cat parents in your life. First is the Captain Cat House by Knit Gang. This one's a bit more ambitious, but it does use bulky yarns, so it should be able to come together in two or three crafting sessions. The finished project is 19.6 inches wide by 11.8 inches tall, and the hole is 6.6 .6 by 6.6 .6 inches. I think this one would be really perfect for that cat parent lover in your life. Next is the Space Cat House by Knit Gang. I think this one is really cute, especially for the sci-fi or space loving cat parent. This one uses bulky yarns as well, and the finished project is 12.59 inches wide by 14.9 inches tall, and the hole is 4.7 inches big. And this one would be fun and relatively quick to make. Or you could make the la da dog sweater by Yarnspirations. This is perfect for that dog parent and is a pattern that comes in three different sizes, so that's super helpful. And this one would be fun to keep your friend's pup warm all cold season long. You could also make the Dog Deer Snood by Yarnspirations. This is another fun one for that dog parent, and it comes in four different sizes, which is also super helpful. This would also be cute to make for a cute little wintry puppy photo shoot. And lastly, you could make this Pet Bed by Bago de Crochet. This one uses bulky yarns and surely could be made in one or two sessions. It's made in the round and very easy to adjust and it would be good for cats or dog parents. Next, I'll share some Christmas specific gifts to make. And while researching this, I came across so many great ideas. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like a specific Christmas gift video as I'd love to make that for sure. First is the Crochet Ragdoll Penguin Gift Card Holder by Loops and Lump Crochet. 
If you are giving a friend a gift card and want to spice it up a bit, this would be a great idea to accompany it. I love that this pattern also comes with a little video tutorial and has little ideas and ways to customize your penguin by giving it earmuffs or a bow or a scarf. You could also add a little keychain to it if you'd like to extend the use of it after the gift cards are used. Next are these bobble ornaments by Your Inspirations. This is a really classic gift to make and would be the perfect gift for your friend or family member who loves Christmas and Christmas decor. You could also have a lot of fun with the colors and maybe even use up some yarn scraps for this one. You could also make this peppermint swirl pillow by Yarn Inspirations. I really loved this one. And if you're familiar with the tapestry method, it'd be really simple to create. It makes a pillow that's 16 inches in diameter and only uses one ball of the red and one ball of the white red heart super saver yarn. And this would be really perfect to give as a gift for that friend who has a special little weeding nook or chair that they like to sit in and give that chair a nice little wintry charm. Next is this cutlery pouch by Teen Summer Hansen. This is a great gift for that party thrower or if you throw parties, you could even give this um, as a little goodie bag and you could put little candies in it or put little place cards on it for the table. These are only 14 by eight centimeters. So they'd be really easy and quick to whip up as many as you need. You could also make this Christmas pot holder by Teen Summer Hansen. This one's really festive for Christmas lunch or dinner, and it's the perfect Christmas pot holder. I love all the little baubles on this design as it really gives it a nice texture. And I really like that this design is meant to be felted to finish it. And that could be achieved by simply putting it in the washing machine. Before felted, it measures 10 inches, but once it's felted, it gets a bit smaller and is about eight or eight and a half inches wide. So that's definitely nice to keep in mind while you're making it so you can adjust the size and make it bigger or smaller if you're going to felt it. And lastly for the Christmas ones is the Granny Square Stocking Ornament by Cook Clean Craft. This is a super easy and quick one to make and you could also stuff it with anything that you'd like. Basically, you just make a granny square and then fold it and sew it together on the side to make it in the shape of a stocking and you could also stuff it with some little candies or goodies and it'd be a really nice stocking stuffer gift as well and finally i'll share some accessories that you can make first are the herringbone socks by heart hook home this one may take a few more crafting sessions to make but this pattern is great because it really is customizable and is for sizes 5 through 13 US or 3 to 12.5 UK. And you can also make it longer or shorter if you want a more ankle sock look design for this. You could also make the Rainbow Love Pouch by Our Inspirations. This is a pretty quick one to create and you could also add lining or you could add a zipper if you'd like to make it have a more finished look. But it's also really great simply the way that it is as well. It's just made using two different granny squares with that little heart design in the middle and then they're crocheted together on the wrong side and then turned the right side out and then you just make that little crochet strap. So it's really simple and easy to make. Next is the Pico headband by Turtle Truck. This one is an easy and quick project as well and the pattern includes eight different sizes from newborn to large adult. There's also a video tutorial which is super helpful for visual learners and this is a really practical gift and cute to keep your ears warm during cold season. Or you could make this scarf by Joe to the World. This one is pretty easy to whip up as well in one crafting session and it measures about 6.5 inches wide to 77 inches long. It takes about three hours and you'll have a perfect chunky soft velvet scarf to gift for a friend and to keep them warm. And this one just simply uses the single crochet and double crochet stitches. So it's a perfect one to just put on a nice movie, sit back and you can just crochet and don't have to count any stitches or anything too complicated. Next is the Knit Look Chunky Beanie by Make and Do Crew. I thought this pattern was pretty nifty because it uses this waistcoat stitch which makes it have that knit like look and it's simply made by working it into the round but in a shape of a spiral so no slip stitching at the end of the row. Also this pattern has a small and large size which is super helpful to decide which size you want to make it for and depending on who you're making it for. There's also nice little tips on how to weave in the ends 
and embroider those nice hearts onto this design to give it that extra little interest. You could also make this beret hat by Make and Do Crew. I like this one because it's also pretty quick to work up and uses lots of puff stitches to create. There are also little tips on how to customize it to make it more or less slouchy as you like. And this one is said to fit a 21 to 24 inches circumference adult head. Another great option are the fingerless gloves by Hey Hey Crochet. This one's quick to make and only uses the single crochet in the back loop only and half double crochet to make. Their patterns are super helpful as well because they have video tutorials. So that's great for visual makers. I really love this next one. It's the bulky thrummed mittens by All About Amy. These are such a clever design as they use a method called thrums, which originates from Newfoundland and Labrador. She describes it as using wisps of unspun wool roving called thrums, and they're crocheted into the mitten so that they have that warm inner layer that is created. With time, these thrums also will felt and form a fleece lining. So these mittens are incredibly warm and cozy, and I really like that heart-shaped design, and it actually will add a layer of thickness. And there are a lot of tips with this one, so it's a little bit more involved, but it's a really helpful pattern tutorial. Or you could make these cabled leg warmers by All About Amy. These ones seem pretty simple to make as well, and they have really detailed instructions. This would be perfect as a gift for a dancer in your life or someone who likes that more ballet core aesthetic. These ones have a really timeless design and use the front post treble as well as the front post and back post double crochet stitches. So these are good to know before making this design. Next is the Delicate Rose Hair Bow by Selena Veronique. These are super feminine and pretty and really quick to make. This also includes a video tutorial and pictures as well, which are super helpful. And it'd be really easy to customize and make it longer or shorter as you like. And lastly are these scrunchies by CJ Design. This project is quick to make as well. And this would be fun to make a bunch of them. You could make three or five pack of scrunchies as a gift. And all you need for these are a hair elastic, the velvet yarn and to know the single crochet and double crochet stitches. So super easy to do. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed my list of 50 free crochet gift pattern ideas. If you did, please let me know by giving this video a like and also subscribe and click that bell to be notified of all the future videos that I'll be sharing with you. I'll definitely be sharing some more sort of crochet pattern videos like this one. Let me know if you'd like to see any specific ones in the comments below. And also make sure to check out all the links to all the patterns that I mentioned and they're all on my blog post and that's linked in the description box below as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.